Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And you know, this happened yesterday, but we gotta talk about it. Marquez Callaway signs with the Saints for the third time. Hold on, let me uh, bring this up. All right, so the Pittsburgh Steelers ended up releasing Marcos Callaway a couple days ago, and the Saints picked him up again. You know, I, and then I believe he, was, he we signed him, I want to say, two years ago, and then a few weeks later, we cut him again. And it's funny, shout out to Saints now by Chat Sports, but he was streaming the other day, and he says, and his person that was helping, being monitor the stream said, you know, he's a Tennessee Volunteers fan. And obviously, Marcus Callaway and Alvin Kamara both went to Tennessee. And Trace was like, um, you know, he's a fan of Alvin Kamara and Marcus Cal and was a fan of Marcus Callaway, but we don't say that name anymore. Well, we're saying that name now because I'm about to read you an article by NOLA.com. So let me move. This over here. Yeah, man. The Saints are bringing back a familiar face at Wednesday's training. Yeah, from training camp. So, so from Irvine, California, after a recent spate of injuries have, have tested their depth at wide receiver, the New Orleans Saints are bringing a familiar face back into the fold. The team announced Thursday that it was that it was signing Marquez Callaway, who spent his first three professional seasons with the Saints. To make room, the Saints waived tight end Tommy Hudson with an injury designation. Callaway first made an impact as an undrafted free agent with the Saints in 2020. He followed that up with a career best season in 2021 when he often found himself filling the team's number one wide receiver role after Michael Thomas missed the campaign with injury. But Callaway was not able to build upon his 2021 season when he caught 46 passes for 698 yards and six touchdowns. He found himself out of the lineup late in the 2022 season and out of New Orleans before the start of the 2023 season. Callaway spent time with both the Denver Broncos and Las Vegas Raiders last season before making his way back to the Saints, appearing in three games without receiving a target. At Wednesday's practice, Saints receivers Cedric Wilson with a groin injury and Bub Means with a shin injury and Equinemia St. Brown with a hamstring injury all were held out with injury. All right, man. So, yeah, that's basically the sign, man. Marcos Callaway's back in New Orleans. So, I'm about to say whether I like the signing or not. But first, before I say that, if you like, subscribe, share, turn the bell on so don't miss another upload. But we got to break this down. Marcos Callaway. I would say he knows the system, but this system is way different than it was the first couple times he was here. It is a familiar face. So do I like the signing? I do like the signing. Here's why. It pushes some competition up. Because, look, I don't think Equinemia St. Brown's making the team. So if Callaway could take a spot out like that... Um, but yeah, Marcos Callaway, he's been in New Orleans. He's a fan favorite. Like the article said, the Saints, man, signed him as a UDFA back in 2020. And then 2021, obviously, Michael Thomas dealing with his stuff. Traquan Smith doing Traquan Smith things, and that's not good things. You know, and the Saints, that year, we were just fiddled with injuries. And a lot of people may not remember, but Marquez Callaway was the guy that caught the Hail Mary from Jameis Winston in that Washington uh, that Washington football team game. So Marquez Callaway can make plays. And then obviously he's also involved with lowlights like that third and one play, Saints-Buccaneers, that helped the Buccaneers get back into the game and end up winning that game. But man, Marquez Callaway back in New Orleans. So now let's look at the Saints depth chart. But yeah, like I said, I like the move. All right, Saints depth chart. Let's see where he's at now. Because it's way different. Because back then when he was on this team, you know, we didn't have Alave. We didn't have Shahid. You know, we didn't have literally all these receivers. So now let's see. One, two, three, 
four, five. So Marcos Callaway is currently our sixth receiver behind Chris Olave, Rashid Sheed, Cedric Wilson Jr., A.T. Perry, and Equinemi St. Brown. Like I said, I think he's going to jump St. Brown, and he's going to be that fifth guy. Usually the Saints keep five receivers, and I think Marcos Callaway could be that fifth guy. It's going to be between him and Mason Tipton, I guess. But man, oh man, I cannot believe it. Marquez Callaway's back in New Orleans. Look, man, Marquez Callaway. Look, I like him as a player, man. He he made that 2021 season for me. He made it special. Man, because, like, without him, bro, like, our number two receiver was Kevin freaking White. Kevin White. But, yeah. Anyways. But, yeah, man, that's basically the video. I just had to break the news. Marquez Callaway is a saint. Yeah, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they ended up signing him. But then they released him a couple days ago. Yeah, because I know, obviously, when Champagne went to Denver, so did um. So did uh, Marquez. Anyways. All right. Anyways. All right, comment of the video. So, yeah, I made a video a couple days ago, or... Yeah, a couple days ago where I was talking about Brian Kelly and what he could do for LSU. So comment of the video goes to DJS, who on that video said, go back and look at Nuss in second half of SEC championship in 22. Now look, I responded to the comment and I'm pulling in a reverse card. Look, in that video, I said, I don't really believe in Nussmeyer. And I actually... You know, I, I got zero minutes of sleep last night. Like, I did not get any sleep last night. Um, so, this morning around like 4 to 5 o'clock, I looked at the tape from the LSU Georgia SEC Championship in 2022. Don't get me wrong. Nuss Meyer, who was the backup quarterback, but came in that game when Jaden Daniels got hurt in the first half. In the second half, I mean, you can't really look at that because, like, the score is 35 to 10 going into halftime. And yes, I will admit, Nussmeyer got us back in the game, but we still lost that game 50 to 30. And look, like, also this right here. You can go look at back at that bowl game versus I, I want to say was it yeah it was, it was against Wisconsin, yeah we won that game but Nussmeyer was not having a good game. Like that man was missing targets from left to right, so like Nussmeyer, look, I look I looked at the second half but like football is four quarters and I understand he didn't play the entire game. He's our backup for a reason, but still, man, like, I still don't trust Nuss Meyer. I think it's going to be another Joe Burrow situation where, where our Heisman quarterback leaves, and then we're going to have some down year. We're going to have a down year. So, yeah, I don't expect us to be in the top 25 as much as that pains me to say. But, yeah, man, like, subscribe, share, turn the bell on so don't miss another upload. But, hey, I hope Nuss Meyer proves me wrong. I hope he can be like another first round pick. And even if he's not, I just hope he can win some games. But anyways, like, subscribe, share, turn the bell on. Marcos Callaway's back in New Orleans, and I'm out. Who that and don't be a fail cons fan.